Most non-variceal upper GI bleeding is due to peptic ulcers. Initial management includes resuscitation, IV PPIs, and early endoscopy for diagnosis and treatment. Risk of rebleeding is higher with the following findings. Active bleeding, oozing, adherent clots, or a visible vessel. Whereas patients without active bleeding, no visible vessel, and a clean ulcer base are at lower risk. Patients who fail repeat endoscopic or angiographic interventions may require surgical intervention, commonly due to erosion of a posterior duodenal ulcer into the GDA. Most perforations are anterior and if small can undergo primary repair or omental patching. When using an omental or gram patch, the defect is enclosed but covered with a healthy tongue of omental tissue. Larger perforations or those in difficult locations may require primary closure, patch repair, and a possible pyloric exclusion with gastrojejunostomy and appropriate drainage. For patients who have previously failed medical management, an acid-reducing surgery should be considered. Gastric outlet obstruction occurs from acute inflammation or chronic scarring of the duodenum causing a mechanical obstruction. Symptoms include delayed gastric emptying, anorexia, nausea, and emesis. Endoscopic dilation and H. pylori eradication is the treatment of choice, and antrectomy and reconstruction is reserved for patients who fail more minimally invasive therapies. At the GE junction, the left vagus is anterior and the right vagus is posterior. The left vagus gives off a hepatic branch and continues along the lesser curvature as the anterior nerve of Latterge. The first branch of the right vagus is the criminal nerve of Grassi, a potential cause of recurrent ulcers when left undivided. The right vagus also gives off a branch to the celiac plexus and continues posteriorly along the lesser curvature. The goal of operative therapy is to reduce gastric acid secretion by removing vagal stimulation via vagotomy, gastrin-driven secretion via antrectomy, or both. A truncal vagotomy involves division of the left and right vagus nerves above the hepatic and celiac divisions respectively and a drainage procedure to help facilitate gastric emptying. A highly selective vagotomy preserves vagal innervation to the pylorus, so no drainage procedure is required. An antrectomy is typically performed for gastric rather than duodenal ulcers in combination with a vagotomy.